Hey everybody, Jacob Rhodes here. And what I want to cover in this video is how the dust collector works, how you can make it work a little bit more effectively, and kind of what you should expect with it, okay? Right off the bat, it is not going to get everything, okay? Your circular saw is not designed for dust collection, and even the ones that have the full enclosure and everything, they're not dust free, okay? But they contain the dust. The big thing with the dust collection nozzle is it's going to get all the stuff that floats because it's smaller particles. It takes less airflow to move them, less velocity and all that jazz. But what I've done with this saw is got a little creative with some duct tape. Sounds kind of hokey. The engineer in me hates it. The guy that was born on a farm is pretty okay with it. But basically what I did here is I took and I covered the rear exit on the top saw guard, the one that doesn't move. Basically just covered that hole where the sawdust usually shoots out. And what that does is that's going to prevent sawdust from shooting out that hole. It's going to keep it within the saw guard as much as possible. Okay. On the front of the blade where there's usually a big giant opening here, I went through and just wrapped some duct tape around and molded it to the saw guard. If you want to do something that's going to fully encapsulate everything, that has a slot cut for your saw guard to actuate in, and it's going to make sure everything's nice, you still have a vacuum inside of that. Okay, so the better you can seal this up, the better it's going to work. But uh, really, I want to do 15 cuts without having the dust collector hooked up to a vacuum. Then we'll do 15 cuts with it hooked up to a vacuum. And I'll sweep the floor in between. I'm going to move the camera so you're actually be behind me looking this way so you can see the blade and everything. And uh, I'll shut up and get to it. So now that we've got our 15 cuts done, I'll take the camera, we'll pan it around a little bit. Um, to be brutally honest, it did okay. Um, it didn't get all the sawdust. It wasn't really designed to get all the sawdust. A um, couple things I would probably tweak on the, uh, the saw itself. That way it was a little bit cleaner. Um, it's just duct tape. So we'll go from there. So the big thing is here, it didn't get all the sawdust, but what it did do is that everything that's down here is the bigger chunks. So it made it kind of nice because those are pretty easy to sweep up. And uh, my bigger chunks, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing that's really small. These are all the bigger ones. And the big thing is looking around at all of the benches and everything, they're relatively clean. I mean, we got a couple little pieces actually from where we trimmed the anti-chip strip. But, uh, you know, right here in front of the blade, we got a little bit of 
small stuff, but that's kind of to be expected, even with a dust collector on there. And you know, over here, more white pieces from the anti-chip strip. And uh, if you've ever wondered how I get the top-down views, it is a GoPro on a little giant ladder that sits just outside of the frame. But again, we did 15 cuts, and it was on three-quarter inch plywood here, and uh, came out pretty good. <clears throat> okay, so first things first, um, I'm going to sweep everything up and we're going to compare the size of the dust piles but uh, it's a pretty big difference because without the dust collector basically everything and you guys know this everything that's even remotely close gets coated and yeah, I was intelligent coated in sawdust and we've got sawdust built up you know, inside the table here. And we've got sawdust that goes over here. And if you remember the stuff that was on the floor last time with the dust collector was pretty coarse. And this stuff's about half and half. But uh, again, I've got a lot more sawdust on me. And the floor's got a little bit more. But the big thing is just the amount that was in the air and it's up here on the top of the track and kind of in the area that you're breathing and uh, I don't know if you noticed it or not but I was wearing a dust mask always practice safe with working and uh, wear the right kind of protective stuff spare parts are hard to find so with that I will go through I will sweep up my mess put it in two piles and we will See which side is bigger. All right, guys, we got them both swept into roughly the same size circle. I thought about being way too much of an engineer and actually weighing each pile, but uh, it's pretty qualitative rather than quantitative. Took longer. This is the one that was without the dust collector, and it's about two and a half inches deep. Closer to three. This one over here is the one that was with the dust collector, and it is down in there about in two inches, just about two and a quarter. So, however much one inch of dust is worth sweeping up, but again, it's a $20 dust collector, and uh, I didn't even bother sweeping out the table and everything. But uh, anyway, that is the dust collection attachment for the True Track system. It's a late evening for me, guys, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good one.